Hello everyone, today in Sunday's cooking we are going to see how to prepare an Andhra style potato. Andhra style potato is a simple, easy and a delicious recipe and it is enjoyed and relished by all age groups. So this particular recipe is best served when it is served with hot steaming rice or it can be served with sambara rice or rasam rice or any other South Indian dish. So this is a very interesting recipe and if you are watching my video for the first time, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications. The ingredients required for preparing the Andhra style potato are, I have actually boiled the small potatoes, I have peeled the skin and I have kept it aside. This is approximately around quarter kg of potatoes, a small bunch of coriander leaves, 2 tablespoons of soaked cashew, 10 to 11 flakes of garlic, 4 to 5 green chillies, a small piece of ginger, salt, 1 teaspoon, onions, I have sliced the small onions around 10 to 12 shallots, some fresh curry leaves and along with this 1 tablespoon of butter required for frying or you can use ghee for frying the potatoes, salt as per taste. First in the pan I am just adding butter. Now once the butter melts, I am adding the boiled baby potatoes. Baby potatoes gives a very good flavor for this dish. Also adding some salt while frying the potatoes. So you don't have to uh, fry until it gets totally roasted. A light frying in butter is enough. I am just going to keep it aside. So now in the mixy jar we just going to grind the following ingredients. Just adding the soaked cashew, green chillies, small piece of ginger, some fresh coriander leaves. Add it along the stem, garlic. Garlic gives a very good flavor for this Andhra spicy potato. And I am also adding some fresh curry leaves. I have also reserved a few for seasoning. Now let's grind the following ingredients into a smooth paste. Now I have added some more butter in the pan. You can either add butter or ghee. I am adding the fennel seeds or the sauce. Also adding the finely chopped onions. Today I have added small onions. If you don't have small onions, you can always substitute this with the big onion. So one onion, big onion, finely chopped you can add instead of the small onion. And add a little bit of salt while frying the onion. This will facilitate in fast frying of the onions. And some fresh curry leaves. So you can see that the onions have got nicely fried. And adding the ground paste of the coriander, cashew, garlic. So you need to cook the paste until the oil starts oozing out from the sides and the raw smell of the garlic and other ingredients completely goes away. Finally, I am adding the fried potatoes and mixing it. You can also sprinkle a little, little bit of black pepper powder on top. This is for the extra spice. The gravy is completely absorbed in the potato. It's a nice light green in color. You transfer this to the serving bowl. Steaming hot, delicious, Andhra spicy potato is ready. I hope you will all try out this recipe and I am very confident if you are going to try out this once, your kids are going to ask you to make this every week. So such a delicious recipe. So please try and share with your friends and families. Have a lovely day.